Yeah. One of the things that I was thinking about when I was in Tulum, it's just some things that I want to do more of back home. Yeah. So before I even answer the question, I want to know if there's anything that y'all want to kind of insert into your life that you haven't really made time for, that you make excuses as to why you don't do it. Um, and, and yeah, if you, you know, are able to, or if you want to do it. Yeah. Implement sure. something in your life. Alice, uh, you want to go first? Yeah. I've actually been doing it more recently. You know, when you can't stay still. <laughs> oh, I know. This is so you. So you. So I've been trying to cook more. <gasps> oh. Yeah. But my excuse for myself is always that. Well, I still do feel this way, but I use them as excuses too. I get to- After I'm done cooking, I'm not as hungry. <laughs> Two. The process of cutting the stuff up and actually waiting. Uh, no, and like buying, buying the ingredients. Yeah. Buying the ingredients, but as re- as of, as of late, I've really been trying to commit to do more of that because I I like cooking. It's just it's just, it's just another way to be creative. I look at it as making beats. Like mm, throw that in there. Mm, mm-hmm. Throw that in there. It's so, fun. Yeah, it's mad fun. No funny shit. And like, there's so many recipes online now. <laughs> like, you could get. You can make whatever you want. All you got to do is go on yeah. TikTok, Instagram. Everything's there. So, yeah, that is something I've been trying to incorporate more of cooking. That is a fact. I like that. So I, uh, I didn't, I, I wasn't expecting that, but I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, we should yeah. do a need to know, like, potluck. That'd be fire. But everybody does record it. Dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. cooks, like, a, a little dish. And then. Type shit. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be Aww. fire. Yeah. Reggie, it looks like you're still thinking. Um, For no. me, I don't know, like. This might be a cop out answer, but I did go through a year where I just wanted to change everything. I don't know if it was 2022 or 2023, but like, and then I I implemented everything. Like, I wanted to start taking care of myself, working out, cooking. I wanted to start reading more. Um, I wanted to make sure I'm always spending time with my friends and not just my boyfriend, like stuff like that, and spending time with my parents. And I feel like, honestly, like, I really do. I want to give myself credit because I really feel like I do that so well, like balance everything. And I guess like just implementing like consistency, like I don't ever want to lose that. I want to my life to stay like this. Like, I'm yeah. very happy um, and it could easily dip. Like, I could easily let mm-hmm. this go. And so I guess what I want to implement is just never like, like letting up on that type of like balance. Mm. That's a good one. That. That's a good one. Yeah. And I've noticed I that change over the last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been We're, very intentional. Yeah, yeah, like one year at the top of like 2022, I told you guys, like I was not happy. Like I was like, I don't know why I feel so lost. Like, and yeah. now I'm just, I'm doing great. Like I implemented everything. So, and Reggie, you mentioned this. I think you posted this recently on social media. I forgot what it was that you incorporated it into. It was a vitamin that you incorporated into your lifestyle. Oh my god, do not get me started. Everything. Right. Was that magnesium? Magnesium. Or that? Do not get me started. Oh my gosh. Guys. Talk about it because this is something that a lot of people don't realize because we just be so used to. Waking up, going to sleep. Oh, all I got to do is shower, work out, and I'll be okay. There's actually other things we're missing, you know, in our mm-hmm. lifestyle every day. Well, now that you bring it up, yeah, magnesium yeah. is the most, like, most people in the world, humans, were deficient in magnesium. But right. it, like, solves everything. Like, for me, my priority was sleep. I used to stay up at, till 4 a.m. every night. Like, it w- that's so hmm. bad for you. And then wake up in the morning, have to go to the office. Like, that is so bad for you. But, um, yeah. like, it makes you stress out. That contributed to my weight gain, I feel like, because my body was stressed out. So my um, my priority was improving my sleep. So I got magnesium glycinate. There's there's other stuff like magnesium citrate, which helps with your digestion. So everybody do your research. But as soon as I started taking it regularly, like, I would feel great. Like, I used to be anxious. Mm. Like, I used to feel sluggish, not sleep. To, every day now i go to sleep at the same time wake up feeling great so just highly recommend guys you don't have to listen to me but i do think everyone can benefit from just you know having a cute little magnesium supplement absolutely and go to your doctor we you know every it's different strokes <laughs> oh, yeah, for yeah, diff- yeah. different strokes for different folks and i don't want you guys to take mm-hmm. over consumption of something that you don't need but to reggie's mm-hmm. right, point right, right. i love that you you realize what was missing and, and then it literally good. just solved everything like yeah that's fine to me that's fine yeah. to me i love that it's like mental viagra I would say so, okay. honestly. <laughs> I would think, yes, like That's what clear, I'm like clarity. Stimulation. Like clarity. Simulation. Yeah. Yeah. It did everything you needed clarity. to do and more. That brain fog is gone. Yes, the brain fog is gone. Yeah. Like, That's real. Brain fog is like, a real thing. Sometimes my periods will get like very, very moody. And I'm usually like, I never used to have that when I was younger. And now mm-hmm. I have no symptoms. Like it is so wow. crazy. Wow. Like wow. how yeah. often do you take it? Uh every day. Every day? Morning. I don't know. Night? So uh, at night, I take one capsule at night, and I think that is enough for me. Again, as Alex yeah. said, please go to your doctor. I, I just, 
I know we're not doctors and all that, but I do think that it's like me recommending like vitamin D. Like it's like very common, yeah. very, mm-hmm. very common. Like it's not some trendy thing like mm-hmm. magnesium supplements, guys. Highly recommend. <laughs> See, folks. It's not Ozempic. It's not Ozempic. No, it's, no, yeah, it's, it's not, not no, 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 no. Not, Ozempic. not diabetes medication. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, See, cool. folks, you're not depressed. You just ain't got no magnesium. No, literally. literally. That's it. That's it. <laughs> It'd be the small shit. We just don't. Maybe I'm going to add that to my yeah. Uh, yeah. vitamin supplement. supplement. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm about yeah, to go yeah, get yeah, me yeah, some right now right. after this. Yeah, we about to go to CVS. Yeah, do that. we need to small Can I buy it on the company card since she mentioned this? Yeah, 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 yeah. HR yeah. clearing that. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Karen, you heard that, right? Yeah, HR clearing you Because yeah. Karen be looking at the charges like, yo, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. What the What's fuck was this? Yeah, me and Karen. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Karen. Um, For me on this trip, I realized, I remembered, I was reminded how much I love to read, yo. Oh, I love wow. that. I remember how much I love to read. So wait, when did you st- <laughs> when did you stop it. liking to read? <laughs> Alex, we're trying to have a beautiful self-reflection moment. <laughs> Bro, you know what I realized it was fucked up? When I was reading and then I would see a word like, wait, hold up. I gotta look this one up. I gotta look this shit. What the fuck this be? Yeah, he's like, it's been like, a while. It's been a minute oh since I God, really God. just sat down and flew through chapters. Like, not just, I right, let me read a chapter here, put it down, then come back in two weeks. No, like, just binge reading. You know how, right, like, people right. binge watch? Mm-hmm. I want to encourage binge reading. Nah, talk up. I like I, this. I felt so good. I felt so light. I felt like I was actually learning because mm-hmm. when you read at a certain level, you you. Forget that there's higher levels of everything in life, <laughs> but reading, there is a higher level of reading and comprehension. And it's Absolutely. like, bro, I have a whole degree. I'm, I'm, I, I consider myself to be somewhat smart and intelligent, right? Yeah, I'm you, are, you are, you are. Yeah. But I, I, I felt like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm learning while also yeah. reading. So, um, for me, I, I do want to find a way to implement that. I, I make a lot of excuses. Like mm. I stopped working out ever since the fucking marathon training. I haven't oh, worked yeah, out yeah, since yeah. Oh that goodness. I didn't even fucking complete. <laughs> um, but I haven't worked out in a few months. But working out is one of those things that, you know, I think everybody wants to stay fit, stay active, be in mm-hmm. shape. So mm-hmm. working out is definitely one of those things. But reading is like, I need to get back into intentionally reading, find a place, find a time. Um, one thing I know about myself is I can't read. It's hard for me to work, but be productive in my space, like yeah. my home. Mm. So. Going somewhere and finding a place to read is really important for like my process of reading. Um, having right. a highlighter because I like to highlight things that resonate with me in that moment. And then whenever I skim through the book that I completed, I'll go back to it. And I'm like, oh, this stuck out to me. Or I remember mm-hmm. why I highlighted this or why this resonated with me. Um, so for me, I, I really want to find a way to tap back into the reading. reading, binge reading. Wait, so what? Okay, so I have two follow up questions because this is my bag. Mm-hmm. I love, like, I also got, like, this, this, Same. this was like a big change for me. Um, so do you like, f- is it physical books only? Like, you have to hold the book. And then yes. what types of, are you, you're not reading like novels, right? I'm assuming I you're reading like, like, just like, oh, like tips for success, like that, those types of books, right? Or um, novels, memoirs. like stories. Oh, I'm, oh okay. I'm, I'm, I'm currently reading a memoir. Mm-hmm. Um, so memoirs, biographies, self-help books, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now, for me, memoirs. And mm-hmm. I like to read memoirs of successful people. Obviously, y'all know my guy, Jim Carrey. I have Angie Martinez, uh, her book as well. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah, I read that. I like year. those. Those type of books, right? Where mm-hmm. you can learn about people and, and learn about yourself in turn and learn about people you fuck with. Um, and then your favorite people are really vulnerable and transparent in books and writing. Yeah. Because yeah. most people, they always say, if you want to fucking keep a secret, hide a secret, hide something from black people or people in general, you put it mm-hmm. in a book. Mm-hmm. So a lot of your favorite people are really <laughs> giving it up in these books. No, they like, are. If you have a rapper or artist, That's like their Patreon. Man, he has exactly, exactly. Books Rick Ross, he got a book. Yeah. Fifty Cent, he got a book. Like when they really will tell you who they are and some of the things that they've been through in mm-hmm. depth in a book opposed to an interview or a song or a playwright or something like that. Right. Um, so for me, I've, I've learned a ton uh, in the few chapters. I think I got through like six chapters in a day, mm-hmm. which was damn near half the book. And I didn't want to put it down. I got fatigue from reading, which <laughs> I haven't had since I was in elementary school <laughs> as a punishment. Right. Like yeah, I, yeah. I got tired. So um, reading is definitely one of the things that I want to do. And I, I want to encourage binge reading 
because we yeah. always talk about binge watching shit mm-hmm. but i want to like binge read like that's, yeah. yeah just like i love getting like lost in a book that's why i'm so jealous that you were on vacation and you were probably just laying there like just reading Bobby. like Bobby. Uh, but like one of my suggestions was gonna be so the way i got back into it was next to our office is the new york public library i love just like i got i have my little library card on my lunch break i go and find a, a nice book and i check it out and then i go to like a cafe like i just love that process i feel so great but yeah. for you i feel like that wouldn't work because you like highlighting so you can't like yeah. borrow yeah so you can't like borrow <laughs> books. i also yeah, had yeah, a yeah. recent epiphany about books right the 50 cents your faves of the world i'm with you yo like i want to read y'all book i want to read y'all books i want to see your perspective and again what stavon was saying they really do give it up in there on the other side of that, if I don't know you niggas, I don't want to read your book. Like, you don't care, yeah. I don't give a fuck. No, real talk. Yeah, it's no, like, why would I, I care? Like, I just had this moment, right? Um, I'm not going to say this young lady's name, but she came to my job at Sirius. And she was promoting a book centered around how she got out of her depression using hip-hop music. But I didn't know that. I, she just gave me a book. I, I've, been, I've been reading as of, as of late. And the most recent book I read off of the cusp before reading that was uh, The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. I think I mentioned it to y'all. Mm-hmm. And in that book, I felt so connected to it because us as creatives here are creative. So he's just going down every lane as a creative. If you guys that don't know who Rick Rubin is, he's music producer, A&R, Legend. Kanye West, the great Rev, all of them, Super Run DMC, all that shit, Super Dev Jam, you yeah. name it. Like you so, want him in the room when you're like, yeah, music. yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So hearing some of like, what he was pulling from his life that was so great. Man, this shorty was talking about how she used to listen to Scarface when she was depressed. I didn't give a fuck. I like cuz Yeah, you, like I it's like that. you don't have you don't have that don't connection. Care. You don't have that connection care. to what she's saying. Yeah. No, and I and most importantly, I felt like I wasn't learning anything. I just mm-hmm. felt like I was just consuming a piece of literature from someone who said, "Hey." And I get it though, right? Because there's probably someone out there that relates to her story, right? Mm-hmm. like hip-hop has helped me through depression man i closed that shit so fucking quick if i ain't learning nothing don't give me the book i want to learn hmm. fuck i want to listen i don't me. know if i should save this for like our next episode <laughs> or if we should just keep going with this one i think you should but, you should say what you need to say and then this episode we don't have to do the questions because it's going to get really long yeah fine. okay fine. 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 that works that works that works this was fun i can't wait to talk about the whole learning shit because i i learned yes. something about me through watching like some bullshit but we'll talk about it on <laughs> and it'd be like oh that. no no i meant like if you want to fit that in for the last episode uh, the last topic in this episode or no, no. it's 45 minutes we, oh we shit. gave him okay. enough we we, okay. we gave him enough let's let's kick this over to the next one because and i'll maybe i'll leave a little cliffhanger y'all know the pop the <laughs> balloon show that i've been yes i've been obsessed with I've yo been, i found yes. that show. yo i got obsessed i found a jamaican one Oh my goodness. Oh, end it right here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in the next episode. If y'all are here, thank y'all for being here. Comment below. Uh, we are going to record another episode and, and get into like the pop the balloon shit. Um, I have a confession and yeah. Oh and, no. Enjoy. <laughs>